first off, is much, much bigger than the one we just saw. Um, so what happens when we all look at the whole thing to start with is we forget or we miss out on some of the details, especially on the sides. So I'm going to start by asking you to divide in the middle and have, actually this group's now a little bit bigger, divide in the middle, um, and have this group look at everything from this man over this way. And you guys look at everything from this woman in blue over this way. And look closely, notice as much detail as you can. You can talk amongst yourselves. Um, try and figure out what's going on in the picture. Um, and keep an open mind for now. We'll put it all together later. <laughs> what do you think that is yeah, yeah, behind yeah. it? Is that clouds or like, is that think it's, What did you guys think decide it's, this? Mount because it's sort of the same color as what's yeah. in the foreground. Oh, yeah. And then you're right, she's right. She's got to stand on something. And then yeah. you're right, the river. Like is the, well, maybe that's the muddy. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what that is. What the woman maybe freedom. Yeah, yeah she's carrying like a wreath, like yeah. like the Olympics. Yeah. That's what they're yeah. like where. She's red as always, and it's like a prominent color, and it's clearly the center. So that must mean something. Well, it's like blue and red. Yeah, it's like blue and red. Yeah. 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 I don't know. There's a steam boat. Well, yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking gold instead of money, but it could be money. <laughs> it could be gold. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like there's it's harvest time. Right. So mm -hmm. all the work that's been done. And American the bounty. The prosperous land. And every, at least these three subjects seem to be very relaxed. Yep, not doing any work. Yeah, he's working, but it's okay. He's not being overworked. So there's a sense of safety, a sense of security. security. So let's start with this group here. What's going on in this half of the artwork? We were looking at, we focused first on sort of the food. Mm -hmm. That's it's, it's like harvest time. Okay. And then the, the people sitting on top of like the cornucopia of food is maybe like the food is the support system that allows them to feel secure and, uh -huh. and safe from want. And then we were looking at the, in the background, the, what we assume is water, but it's not blue. So we were, is that golden or is it muddy to reflect the Mississippi because of the steamboat? And then we we're also looking at the sort of the mountain slash and or clouds in the background. Mm -hmm. We're trying to decide what that was as well. Okay. And we and didn't know if that was Little Boy Blue. And the date is 47. Yeah. Okay. And you saw that because the artist so inconveniently put that in the corner. Um, okay, so you notice what's really prominent in this half of the picture is that harvest, the, the bounty, and it's all spilling out of the cornucopia. And I like the way you say that maybe that's the support that makes them feel secure. And you know, use the phrase freedom from want. Now what era is that from, too? Roosevelt. Roosevelt, right, that's the end of World War II, so that really fits right into this. Um, and then you, you wondered also about this, this weird color. It's, it's water because there's a steamboat on it, but maybe it's a, a golden color or a muddy, churny color that made you think Mississippi. Um, old money, that kind of thing. Okay, so you've situated it a little bit in place and time. Um, how about this half of the arc? Uh, I grew up on a farm in Northern California, so I, this really reminds me of home with the foothills, the coloring of the, uh, of the countryside, the live oaks along the ridge line and the mountains in the background. So that, that really reminded me of home and harvest. Okay, so more harvest. Uh, looks like there's like a struggle of some sort with the bull. It was at one point tied up, and you can see, I guess, the lasso around its horns, but it's cut somehow. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the farm. We're talking, there's this struggle here between this man and the bull has gotten loose. What else have, is going on over here that we haven't talked about yet? The African American. Okay. Um, gentleman on the fence there. Okay, so he's, he's sitting on the fence. What might his role in the scene be? I think the symbolism of him being on a fence, and it could go either way. He can help in the struggle, or he can, he, um, I don't know. Just... But it, and it, it may be ambiguous mm -hmm. purposefully. He's literally on the fence, as you noticed. 
Well, it um, looks like he was very content to watch, but now that uh, Bull's broken free, uh, he's getting involved and, and coming in to help.